Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's official. Yeah, it's going up. It's going up pretty fast. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Hi. 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 Yeah, it's going up. It's going up. <laughs> so let's wait a minute, I think, until more people come in and then we'll start talking. How about that? Wow, it's going up fast. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> nice did you invite your communities to the interview yes, yes. Of course. Yeah. nice <laughs> nice let's say hello on the chat hello everyone hello yeah. Sophie. Hi, guys. I see names i know <laughs> new <Nice>. mexico <laughs> very nice hello mm. or seal i don't know how to say that sorry <laughs> So hello everyone. Um, yeah, so the number is going up very fast. So let's start. And so we can use our 45 minutes the best way we can. Oh, Celeste. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Celeste. <laughs> Hi, Milton. <laughs> <laughs> hello aus Berlin. Hello. Nachbarn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very, very nice. Hello, everyone. So uh, today we are having a behind the scenes interview with a lot of creators. We are all creators that where our content is based around German and Germany and everything. So we are gonna be talking uh, with you for the next 45 minutes. Um, so yeah, very happy to be here. Very nice to see you all. I'm Andy and I'm, I will be moderating today. The first thing we can do actually, so some of us did already, we can write our YouTube channels or our Instagram channels or whatever um, as our username. So I'm gonna change mine very fast and add here my YouTube ch channel. So I think we all have it already, except for Maria, I think, but once it's done, then we'll get on it. Wow, it's going up. It's still going up, people, oh my God. No pressure, no pressure at all. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Oh, nice. A lot of people are, are um, writing on the chat. Very nice. So, all right. So I want to welcome our today's guest. And since we only have 45 minutes, as I mentioned, uh, we'll introduce ourselves very fast in case some of you don't know us yet or whatever. And then we'll talk, about, we'll talk about a couple of things and then we'll move on to any questions the viewers may have because they also probably want to ask us something, which is always very nice. And we are doing the whole thing in English this time because we have very mixed communities. So I think the best way for us to understand and for every viewer to understand will be in English. Um, so yeah, first of all, very briefly, um, I would like to ask you who wants to be the first one who breaks the ice and introduce themselves. Oh, I'm picking last. I already said I'm Andy. <laughs> I already said I'm Andy. So who wants to say, for example, very briefly, what your name is, where you come from, where you live, and for example, what you focus your content on. Is it grammar? Is it lifestyle? Is it, what is it? So yeah, who wants to go first? I have someone in mind, but I don't know if she will be up for it. I can start. I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> it was you, I knew it. I okay, almost no figured you were thinking of me too. It must be some sort of telepathic connection. Oh yeah. Anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, right. hi, um, I'm Katya. I teach German mostly on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram now, but I started on YouTube. I've been teaching German on there for uh, almost nine years now uh, on a channel called Deutsch für euch. Um, I'm also uh, a qualified teacher in real life, not for German, but for English and Russian. Wow. And I know a lot about linguistics and I love grammar and I love languages in general. So that's what I teach. Um, but really I make all kinds of content about, around and in German. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very nice. Very nice. And you're currently living in Germany as well. Yes, I am. Awesome. Living. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much. So somebody wants to go second or I would just pick randomly. Yeah, hello. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, so my name is Jeanne. I am French. I'm living uh, near to Paris and I lived for about 10 years in, uh, in Germany. I studied and worked there at, uh, as a German um, school teacher, primary school teacher. 
And now I'm, um, I have two uh, YouTube channel. One is for French people learning German and it's uh, Apprendre Naturellement. So it's like learning German on the natural way. And the second is for German people learning French and it's called Einfach Französisch, like um, French on the simple and easy way. <laughs> mm -hmm, nice. Yeah. So uh, just one quick thing, somebody asked for a link. So perhaps when we introduce ourselves, we can also write on the chat. Yeah. So for example, Katia and John's. Oh, sorry, I always say your name wrongly. But <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Uh, you can already write it on the chat, for example, okay, yeah, your, yeah, your YouTube channels or whatever you want to write there. And once we introduce ourselves, we are going to keep writing on them. All right. So, uh, for example, Jenna, do you want to go next? Of course. Yeah. So I'm Jenna. I'm originally from Toronto, Canada, and I've been living... <laughs> Love I've been it. living in Germany for quite a while now. I guess it's been almost eight years. Wow. I'm kind of on the other end of the table here. I think I'm the only one who actually does not speak German very well at all. <laughs> but I'm getting there. Um, yeah, and I run the YouTube channel Life in Germany. And it's basically about, you know, my life, things that go on, the ups and downs of living here in Germany as a foreigner. And yeah, yeah. all of my experiences along the way. Definitely very, very interesting. I've watched some videos. <laughs> quite a couple of videos actually and it's very interesting very very nice yeah so perhaps you can also write your uh, link on the chat for everyone to follow you as well so for example uh levi levi sorry i'm gonna say it wrong so hair yeah. and Tim, that's how i know you so yeah <laughs> Go for uh, it. <laughs> so my first name is levi um i'm an american uh teaching german at the high school level mm -hmm. uh, i've been teaching since 2009 and been on youtube since 2011 um, so I've been around a little while, um, yeah. but I teach mostly grammar on my channel. Um, I also do listening comprehension videos, um, mm -hmm. stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's very, very me. nice. Uh, well. I also run the uh, website. So to quite go on experienced the side. people we have here. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I lost no, you're time. good. <laughs> yeah. We have quite experienced people here. Definitely. Very nice. So my next people, my next person on the list is Lehrer, <laughs> Deutsch Lehrer. So perhaps you can go next. Hi guys, yes, I am Deutsch Lehrer. Well, I have a YouTube channel, but also an Instagram channel, Deutsch Lehrer. Um, I teach German for advanced students. Uh, basically, yeah, I think like B2 level and C1. And um, yeah, I'm originally from Belarus, but I've been living in Germany for six years now. And now I finished my studies and I'm also a qualified teacher finally. So. Very nice. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> awesome. So um, how long have you been living in Germany already? Um, for six years, yeah. Oh, okay. So, okay. So and we've been already here for a long time. Almost all of us, I think. <laughs> awesome. So Maria, how about you? Hi guys, I'm Maria. I'm Russian living in Germany. So I've been living in Germany for 14 years years now. Um, yes, and I'm teaching German in German. <laughs> I'm not explaining it in, in English, so I'm using German all the time. Uh, so I'm a Dein Sprach coach. It's like your speaking coach. Mm -hmm. And I'm teaching German on Instagram, YouTube and TikTok. Yeah, so if you want to follow the, the, the pronunciation master, then definitely follow Maria. <laughs> yes, so it's my favorite topic, German pronunciation. So if you are guys interested, so you're welcome. Yeah, very nice. So last, uh, it's me. <laughs> I'm Andy. I'm Spanish, but I've been living in Germany for seven years already. And I actually said like this when you mentioned Canada, because I also had the pleasure of living in Canada for two years. So I really, I really love it. Uh, but anyway, we're talking about Germany here. So uh, yeah, I live in Germany for seven years in Berlin. And um, I also teach German in Spanish, both in YouTube on Instagram. And I also focus a lot of gr on grammar. I love grammar. And also life in Germany, which is quite, quite the thing. <laughs> for an Auslander. <laughs> so yeah, my YouTube channel, I'm going to leave it on the chat as well. So in case you want to follow me. All right. Awesome. So we've introduced ourselves. There's quite a lot of people over there. There's all, already like a hundred participants, which is amazing. Thank you guys for uh, coming into our interview behind the scenes. We're very happy that you're here. Um, and I actually have a question for you all. Um, it's actually something I always ask anybody that I know that's been living in Germany or that's lived in Germany at some point. So 
it's actually a very stupid question, but it's interesting to me. So guys, if you had to choose one, one favorite German word, <laughs> What would it be? For me, it's very clear. So what would it be for you? Let's go with Katya again. No, she's thinking. <laughs> I can start. I will, yeah, go. So uh, for me, it's very clear as well. <laughs> Maybe it's yeah. the same word. So it is doch. I, oh. I love this word because uh, it doesn't exist in many languages. And it's, it's actually so funny because uh, sometimes you have dif difficulties translating it. Yeah. Because it's a... a like it's a positive answer to a negative question. For example, um, um, hast du keine Zeit? Um, don't you have time? Doch, ich habe Zeit. I have time. So I, I love this word. Yeah, it, it's quite difficult to explain to you somebody that doesn't know German because it's quite confusing at the beginning. So that was a really, really smart choice from you, I think. Mine is not that difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is actually the first word I learned, where is two. Uh, when I came to Germany, the two words I heard the whole time was genau, 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 genau. Every, everything was a good genau. one. That's what I was going to say. And I have yeah, to pick right? my second favorite. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, I slipped in there. It was genau, genau all the time, but also natürlich, natürlich. Everything is genau and natürlich. Why, <laughs> people? So those will be, I, I, I'm sorry, I cannot choose one, but I think those will be my nice my most favorite words so what about you for example uh jenna <laughs> yeah uh mine has definitely got to be one of the first words i learned too and i think it's funny because i always say now schade marmelade <laughs> Love it. People, people look at me like what like the germans are like why are you saying that like that's not a thing but i always say schade marmelade it's very nice or schade chocolate depending on what you're feeling that day i think <laughs> Whatever rhymes. <laughs> yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Definitely. That's a good one. So what about you? Um, Valeria, Lera, what do you want me to call you? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> okay. Um, I really like Leidenschaft. I don't oh. know. I just like the sound, you know, just so. Leidenschaft. It's very poetic, but also very powerful. I like that choice. Very nice. Leidenschaft. Passion. Very nice. So, Katia, did you think of another one because I stole yours? <laughs> I did, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, if you're gonna do it yourself, I'm gonna follow your lead and kind of cheat a little bit. So, <laughs> I like the word Googlehoof just because it sounds funny, but nobody ever uses that because it's a very specific type of cake. Which um, <laughs> so, Googlehoof. <laughs> just sounds cute okay but, it's cute it's um, cute besides genau for the reasons you already explained it's just used a lot and i find find myself slipping it into conversation even when i'm speaking english or other languages um i'm going to pick muskelkata oh a uh, word for sore muscles <laughs> but it literally translates to either muscle cat a male <laughs> muscle cat but really what it's supposed to mean is a muscle hangover and, <laughs> right because we call a hangover a kata yeah. too i don't know why that is but yeah the imagery either way I, so uh, basically you work out so much that your muscles have a hangover exactly <laughs> i think that's that's the idea behind it and it's just one of those examples of very yeah. evocative german compounds i love german because of how literal it is I don't know about you guys, but it's just like Bauarbeiten, you know? So those kind of things is just like logic. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I have a bunch of these words as postcards on my website, where it's just yeah. like so specific and it's just putting two words together to make a new meaning. Yeah, it's amazing. Hello, it's just, it's, it's genius, honestly. <laughs> so Levi, how about you? Uh, I don't really have a, a favorite, so I'm just going to go with uh, compound nouns and say something like Rindfleischetiketierungsaufgabenübertragungsgesetz. Awesome. Um, <laughs> I think I missed an Überwachungs in there, but anyway, <laughs> not point. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, just really long, obnoxiously long words in German. Um, it's just fun to kind of stick things together because of the literal nature of the language. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, I think that's definitely one of the longest words, but I, I feel like there's always a longer word somehow. I think the longest will be 80 something letters. I don't know if anybody has that word in mind at this point, but if you do, let us know and 
I think it always depends on whether you want to have a word that's actually in use or if you just want to try to come up Mm -hmm. with a word that is as long as you can possibly make it because technically you can just you know actually yeah yeah. uh, don't trust the rabbit did one where it was like an entire four minute video or something that was just one word no yeah I think it was I think it was don't trust the rabbit but I could be wrong four minutes it was something like that yeah it was a really oh my long god! Movie. But it wasn't a. It, it, that was one of the fantasy. Yeah, it's one of those right? just made up yeah. things. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's what you can do actually in German. You can just make up words, and mm-hmm. they make sense. That's the thing. They make sense <laughs> in the yep. right order. <laughs> All right. And lastly, Jean, what's your favorite word in German? Uh, it's difficult because you stole a lot of my ideas. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Another one. <laughs> oh, okay. On the next I, round, no, you're the first okay. one. I think I will. Um, I will start with the, the one of the first I learned. One of the first difficult words I learned in in, in German. And I was so proud of me as I could say, Eichhörnchen. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so difficult. The one. Yeah. <laughs> or somebody wrote in the chat, Streichholz Sechtelchen. God. I made that a video a with a bunch of other YouTubers doing exactly that word, just a bunch of us saying Czechish uh, Streichholzschelchen. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that was a tough one at the beginning, to be honest, because I think we're all Ausländer except for Katya here. So. <laughs> oh, that hadn't occurred to me. Okay. Yeah, we're all. <laughs> we're going to treat yeah. you as an Ausländer from now on, all right? <laughs> Well. You can stay, you can stay. Everyone, yeah. Welcome in the club. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want to come from? Russia? <laughs> because you know already Russian. Um, that that would be a nice honorary uh, certificate, mm-hmm. but I'd probably have to go with the US just by having <laughs> been okay. very okay. like Americanized. Yeah. Okay, so we have two people from the US here. Awesome. <laughs> All right. And um now that we talked about our favorite word and that would be amazing if actually you guys in the chat all the viewers can actually also write their favorite words and also answer the next question i'm going to ask which is um what's the one word and john you can go first on this one uh (laughs) what's the one word that drove you crazy when you learned uh german and for our honorary U.S. citizen, <laughs> uh, perhaps you can tell us what's the one word that drives your followers crazy, for example. Do you Have you noticed any word that is just like, oh my God, or any grammar thing will be also okay. I mean, not only words. Do you have any things in mind? Well, I, I just spoke about Eichhörnchen. I think that's my first <laughs> But I think for French speaking sp- uh, people, it's very difficult uh, just to say your name. Because you have to say ich heiße, and you maybe if you speak French, you know we we like to 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 verbinden um, to unify to unify. We, yes, we speak like like uh, with a cowgummy. Yeah, <laughs> French is like this. Yeah, but yeah. In, in German you have to cut the the yeah. words, so you have to say ich heiße, and French people say ich heiße. Mm-hmm. But, and you know it's not very <laughs> good to say that <laughs> so french people have difficulties dividing the words you would yeah. say and to speak uh, this h out oh, we don't okay. have h in french we, we okay. don't speak the letter uh-huh okay so, ha, ha, it's very difficult <laughs> okay. the ha the ha yeah. sound uh, it's I feel, impossible I feel, uh-huh i feel like that's actually quite uh, more difficult than I will think for a lot of uh, German learners. But mm. yeah, I think that's actually a very good point. Very nice point. So who was the, uh, I think it will be Levi right now. Yeah. So we're going the, the other way around. <laughs> uh, words that still bother me. Anything that ends in, uh, I think it's I-E-U-R uh, for like ingenieur and any of those. Mm. Uh, I, I <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce them. Um, I try and avoid them as much as possible in my videos because I know I'm doing it wrong. Um, <laughs> I'm sure there's a video from French. Ben Schmoff coach that teaches me this and I just, I don't know. <laughs> to be fair, there's a French, that's not our fault. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> yes, blame the French. French people. Yeah. French. <laughs> Always blame the French. Sorry, Jean. <laughs> so what about you, Deutsch Lehrer? <laughs> I don't, I don't really know. I think when I learned German, the word um, I can remember was Sehenswürdigkeiten. I couldn't really pronounce it. I know it was like, yeah. oh, God, 
Yeah, yeah. the topic I think uh, my students really are struggling with is uh, adjective declination, the grammar topic, because, um, yeah, it's just crazy. <laughs> so yeah. many endings and they're like, oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're completely right. I think I also have some difficulties with that word, but it's just like, you know, we've been, we've been speaking German for so long. It's actually a very tough question, you know? So, oh God, I don't even know what I'm going to answer yet. So I'm going to listen to you guys first. <laughs> what about you, Gina? Uh, if I'm being totally honest, I just gave up on grammar altogether. So <laughs> I can speak pretty fluently, but don't then you'll know I'm, I'm a foreigner because my grammar is just so terrible. But <laughs> the words that still drive me nuts and have always driven me crazy would be definitely be like the ones with the sh like. So I still can't say properly, maybe like what or or just, it's like one of those tongue twisters I just can't like as a Canadian it doesn't come out of my mouth yeah because Canadian is very flowy Canadian yeah. is just like a very soft English mm -hmm. so you don't have a lot of harsh sounds yeah. so yeah. I reckon that will be very very difficult for you <laughs> I'll get there don't, one day yeah don't give up on it oh you can do it <laughs> so what about you Katya <laughs> Oh yeah, I've been I've been racking my brain. So I chanchen, I remember making a video oh, yeah. where I mentioned that, and then some people in the comments were like, oh, "That's not hard." So I guess not. That's not it. Um, you try. <laughs> <laughs> me saying, "Oh, I chanchen, yeah." Oh, that, gladly, <laughs> I I made it. No, <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, English speakers tend to struggle with my name, but that's not really a word. Mm -hmm. So once well, I say, just it. imagine the J is a Y. It's usually fine. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I, I'll just go with the topic as well. Um, I, there's a few, there's like articles, there's syntax, there's, there's mm -hmm. a bunch of them, but I think something that a lot of people get rightfully frustrated and overwhelmed by are um, prefixed verbs. Um, oh. I, I, it took me several, like two years or something to get through all of the prefixes for the verbs to make a video on each one, to try to like capture the meaning of each one. So yeah, I actually made a video for each of the 36 prefixes for the for the uh, verbs that are out there. Um, didn't really what? know what I was getting into at the time. But yeah, that's, uh, I think, an understandable struggle point for many people. Oh my gosh, you are so right. I would have never said that, but it's actually so true. Like, that is one of the worst topics, probably. Oh my gosh. And there's um, so many different meanings for the same prefix. Awesome that you did all those videos. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> I had the time. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so for me, um, I don't remember any word. I think you already mentioned the most difficult ones. In my case, I will say as well. Well, somebody, actually, I'm going to steal one from the chat now that I see it. Is Gedächtnis, get, oh, that, I'm still struggling now. <laughs> Gedächtnis, oh my God. Gedächtnis Kirche. That will be one of the worst ones. It's actually in Berlin, so I struggle a lot with that. But um, I will definitely go with um, accusative, dative, and so on, the casus, because um, I think that's the, the, the one question I get asked the most, all that, how they work, how they are used, how they are, e e the declination, everything. So I will go with that. And that's one of the things that also drove me crazy at the beginning. So I'm sorry, you guys, but you can do it. We all made it, so you can do it as well. <laughs> so, Maria, how about you? So, there are actually two words that drive all students crazy. The first one was the one Lara has already mentioned. It's uh, oh. Sehenswürdigkeiten. And the second one is Staatsangehörigkeit. Oh, really? <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> I do too, but it's very difficult to pronounce for, uh -huh. for, for some students. So, um, and you also need to pay attention to long and short vowels mm -hmm. and uh, ich laut Staatsangehörigkeit. Aha, there you yeah. go. Pronunciation. It's a very know. beautiful word, but yeah, it's a difficult one. <laughs> so perhaps you can say both of them slowly for our viewers to learn them a bit better. So uh, we can also clap <laughs> the syllables. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Staats <laughs> an ge kalt. There you go, people. I hope you did it well. <laughs> so I will write it in the chat. Yeah, do that. 
oh, oh, we are getting a lot of amazing words in the chat, actually. Zusammen, 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 Oh my God. So <laughs> in Russian, I cannot read that, but perhaps Maria can tell us. <laughs> it's the, um, the trans uh, translation. Yeah. All right. So I'll, oh, a lot of people have uh, problems with Frau, Mädchen, wegen der Frau. Wow. Okay. Awesome. People, thank you so much for your, for your messages. Actually, I got inspired by your messages, so keep them coming, please. You're answering my questions. Thank you so much. <laughs> Also, Andy, okay. uh, speaking of Gedächtniskirche, can you try, this is another, I think, a pretty common church name, Heilig Geist Kirche. Oh, really? Heilig Geist. Heilig sounds Geist. Poetic. Sounds poetic as well. It's so <laughs> German. It's very, very, very German. So, and about Kirche, it's uh -huh. very difficult for us to uh, make the difference between Kirche and Kirche. Mm -hmm. That's oh, a yeah. big difficulty. <laughs> I had to struggle with that a long time. <laughs> Yeah, 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 Germans yeah, struggle true. with that too. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> they do though. That I doesn't help. <laughs> actually, now that you said that, um, actually came to mind another word that I struggle a lot of the be uh, with a lot at the beginning because uh, it's just a very easy, stupid word. But at the beginning, I used to confuse Küche and Kuchen. You know, <laughs> so I would say I cook in the cake or I am making a kitchen. You know. So I would confuse them all the time. And that was my, my weakest point. I think for some months, it was crazy. I mean, I don't know why I struggled so much with that, but it was, it was a struggle. <laughs> so for all the non-Germans, which is all of us, right? All of us, okay. <laughs> what I would love to know, because I think a lot of people will relate to, with us in the, in the comments. Uh, what is the one thing um, or the biggest cultural sh shock you suffered? when you came to Germany. What is one thing, if you had to mention one thing? I have so many, I don't know how I'm gonna mention one. <laughs> so who wants to go first? I'm leaving you guys decide who goes first this time. So who wants to go first this time? Somebody who hasn't gone first yet. So perhaps, okay, Jenna is thinking, I see Levi with a very confident face. So perhaps you wanna go first. <laughs> Sure, I'll be confident for once. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice change of pace. Uh, the biggest cultural difference to me is like how to how to be a good pedestrian in German. Um, <laughs> not just like the the Oma who yells at you for going whenever it's red still, um, but like being around bicyclists in Germany is nerve wracking and um, sometimes dangerous if you like put a toe into the uh, into the bike path. Mm -hmm. um you get the the klingel and um like my mm -hmm. daughter has the same klingel as almost all of the uh the people in germany have on their bicycle apparently and so <laughs> i have like ptsd whenever i hear her uh, <laughs> bell on her bicycle i'm like ah, something is behind me uh, <laughs> and i'm gonna get run over um so yeah it's it's something that i pay a lot of attention to now that i'm in germany and like i <laughs> i i always make sure that i'm on the right side of the uh the bicycle and pedestrian uh barrier <laughs> that's a very 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 good one so i think we can all relate to that one so that that's a very very nice one people pay attention to bikes please when you are in germany or you will get run over because they um in, on the street if you walk on their lane they can run over you and it's your fault so good luck with that <laughs> so perhaps um this time i'm gonna choose john I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. It's so difficult. You're sorry. <laughs> um, well, I was thinking, I think it's, um, that was my shock, but I don't know if it's um, always actual uh, because I went first to Germany in 2001. I was 18, uh, so you can count now <laughs> how old I am. Um, and I went for, um, um, Freiwilliges Soziales Jahr, so, so like um, voluntary, work. voluntary uh, year. And I was working from Monday to, to Friday in the, in the kindergarten. And then at the uh, Saturday morning, I was just sleeping because I was <laughs> at the end. And at the mm -hmm. Saturday after, uh, afternoon, I wanted to go shopping. And in France, Saturday is the day where the shops 
will have open till nine, 10 uh, and more. So it's the time where people go shopping. So I wanted to go shopping and everything was closed at, I think it was one or maybe three on, on the afternoon. And I was sort of like, hey, where are you all? Yeah. <laughs> are you already so home was... or what are you doing? Yeah. So very... I, I've, no, yeah. I'm, I'm back into France since 10 years. And so I've, I've seen when I go to, to Germany, that's in big cities, I think it's more, it's now a little bit longer, uh, longer mm. but I, I was in, in Breisa. It's mm. at the frontier to France um, for a few weeks. And I've seen in many shops uh, that the, the, they will close at three or like this on the Saturday. So I think it's already uh, always um, something that's typical. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a big shock. I mean, I completely agree with you over there because in Spain, we have everything open the whole, sun, the whole Saturday until very late in the night. So it was a complete shock when I wanted to go shopping at 9 p.m., you know, in the night, which is quite normal for me, actually. It's not anymore, but it w used to be quite normal for me and everything was closed. It's really a cultural shock. Yeah. Definitely. Very nice one there. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push myself in here because I don't want anybody to steal mine so <laughs> uh, I think the, the biggest thing for me um in Spain we're very touchy not not touchy but we like contact you know we're very social we like contact we like to welcome people by you know so um I used to uh, well we kiss twice when we say hi to people so we give two kisses one and one and um it took me some months months and very bad experiences to realize that here is just a hand uh, and I, I, I remember feeling people like become rocks, you know, when I, when I went to them and gave two kisses, they were like, oh my God, you know? So I, it's like, it was just like literally giving two kisses to a rock, something like that. So people here, pro please just straight up give your hand because I get um, a handshake because otherwise it's going to be a quite weird situation. So with that being said, I hope I stole nobody's <laughs> answer. <laughs> I can definitely so, piggyback on that yeah. one. I would agree. I feel the same way. Like we're not as touchy feely in Canada, I think, but um, the, yeah. I struggled with the relationship, like how you're supposed to behave to somebody, you know, or like an acquaintance, for example, like a neighbor in Canada, we're very friendly with our neighbors. Oh, yeah. And I lived probably five years in the same flat and nobody said a word to me the whole time. And mm. so it's very different. Or now when I take the bus, I still always say thank you. And I wave and everybody yeah. on the bus looks at me like so strange. And I stopped doing that for a few years because I thought, that like people think I'm the strangest person it's ever <laughs> but yeah, now I'm just like Ugh, I'm Canadian I, I have an excuse so. <laughs> and it's strange so to understand you get off the bus and you go like okay people I'm Canadian sorry <laughs> <laughs> excuse me <laughs> just too friendly <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah very nice but I mean we we are not trying to say people uh, people in Germany are rude or whatever it's just another another way of being they're more respectful yeah. with their time I would think or with their with their face I would say personal um, bubble exactly your unless personal you're at bubble. the doctor's office then everybody says hello what then <laughs> unless you're at the doctor's office in the waiting room everyone walks in hello hello yeah <laughs> yeah true I can, if I can jump in there because I was and I feel like this is maybe gonna come up I don't know about yeah, and and uh, Maria, what they're gonna gonna talk about, but um, the interesting thing is that I grew up in Germany. I am German, but I've spent, I haven't lived in the U.S., but I've spent a respectable amount of time in the U.S. And I lived in Russia for half a year. And to me, um, when I was living in Russia, I had this epiphany of like, ah, oh, this is what it's like for a, for an American to to come to Germany. <laughs> so this is how it feels okay because yes, before then I was aware so basically what I'd heard from uh let's say northern Americans because I'm sure it's similar for Canadians um it's like you don't really know how to approach people people seem to be very distant and not necessarily unfriendly but like kind of standoffish and cool mm -hmm. and it's not normal to like just casually make conversation mm -hmm. Yeah. in line at the supermarket or something which is just mm -hmm. the most normal thing in the U.S. where like the typical yeah. German buying groceries in the U.S. would be you know the cashier says how is your day going and the yeah. German just goes like, oh yeah I just went to there and there and the cashier's like I 
just say fine, please. Um, <laughs> when say fine I'm, I'm, and leave, please. <laughs> exactly. And then as a German in Russia, I had this thing where like, I would just neutrally come into a grocery store. And after I'd been there for a few months, I felt myself taking on this like grocery shopping mask. So mm-hmm. I'd walk around neutrally outside and then I come into the store and I'd immediately like <laughs> that. Cause it's just like, I'm, oh it's supposed to be I'm businessing now right yeah and I don't smile at the cashier because you don't smile when there's nothing to laugh about like why would you do that so um <laughs> very logic <laughs> very and, German logic <laughs> and so it's just like do you need a bag no okay bye like that's it and um, and yeah. but the the contrast to that is when you make a friend you really make a friend yeah. and that is stuff that I'd heard from Americans about Germany that mm-hmm. when you do get in touch with people it's you can rely on that more than hey let's hang out sometime and then you never hear from them again and that in Russia to me was also multiplied so I feel like from that I have an idea of how it feels to come from a more interactive culture to a less interactive culture but then mm-hmm. noticing okay but then when you do get close you can rely on that so you're actually indeed another Auslander just like us you feel like us. <laughs> Ooh, I made it. Nice. <laughs> Officially. <laughs> so what about you guys? What about Maria, for example? So I think for me, it was German food because oh. Germans love bread. <laughs> bread Yay. for breakfast, bread for, for supper, for dinner. And um, so in Russia, I used to eat maybe meat for breakfast. So it was very different. And here in Germany, I started um, it uh, started eating bread for, for breakfast and for, for dinner, mm-hmm. like Abendbrot. Mm-hmm. And I gained some weight, maybe mm-hmm. an eight kilograms during the first year in Germany. And then I started to take care of myself <laughs> and to eat less bread. But yeah, that's how I felt. I, I yeah, I just thought I should, yeah. eat, I should also eat more bread. <laughs> that's I'm very coming. that's very interesting i would have never thought of that because in spain we also eat a lot of bread actually so that's a very very good one i would have never thought of that interesting maria very nice so what about you Lera? <laughs> um i think for me it was waste separation you know when you come from a culture where you do not um, separate waste you just don't know where should i put things and sometimes i ask my german friends well oh, where to put something you know you're just struggling with that and concerning the mentality people are just what katya said just are not so open and the understanding of friendship is different in in Russia or in Belarus for example friendship is in my opinion at least um deeper you know we like talking about um so deep topics uh, but here at the beginning it was different but um at some point you just you just mm-hmm. reach this level as well but it takes much time Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I completely that's, that's, agree with that's you. That's yeah. super interesting because I feel like that's what a German would say about an American. So it, it really is that parallel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting to hear you all because I think we kind of agree on everything. Uh, let us. I, I've been reading the, the comments and a lot of people agree with what we were saying. So very nice that you're also sharing your thoughts with us. And actually, we are seven minutes away from finishing. It went by so fast. I actually wanted to talk about a lot of other things. Um, but perhaps I just want to say here, uh, before we kind of say bye and everything, uh, some of us, uh, actually, it's in the chat right now. That's what I wanted to mention. Some of us are also, li- uh, I also, I also li- also <laughs> giving away some of our courses so um some of us already have courses uh, in german and everything so perhaps we can introduce our courses in a very very uh, fast line so we all have like a minute to say over there uh so i don't know if we all have courses but definitely we are uh, some of us are giving them away so you can participate you can win our courses and learn german with us which is awesome I'll let you know it's awesome so um yeah uh perhaps i'll go first this time if it's okay with you i have a grammar courses in spanish so um i'm giving away three of them this time so you can go to the link on the on the um, on the box in the chat so yeah if you want to participate and win one of my courses as i said is grammar focused in spanish they're very complete for every single level there is so if you yeah, if you want to participate, then definitely go to the link. And yeah, 
So for example, I know Maria is also giving away one course, so perhaps Maria can go next. Yeah, exactly. Actually, it's three of them. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I'm offering my uh, complete pronunciation program. So it's the theoretical course where we learn everything about the German pronunciation in seven very easy steps. Mm -hmm. And it's also a practical course where we practice 90 days, so three months, and you can win um, one of these courses. So I wish you good luck. So yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. It. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely good luck, people. Uh, there's a lot of prizes, so you, it's definitely a high chance that you win one. <laughs> so um, is any of you also giving something away or, I don't know, nobody's giving anything else away, but you have courses, right? Definitely. So you want to talk about them a bit and perhaps leave the link on the chat? Yeah, go, go for it, you know? <laughs> cool. <laughs> um, mine's a little bit different. So I do a host a relocation course for internationals mm -hmm. who are moving to Germany. So, so from important. the first step, you know, your visa, making friends, getting a bank account, all of that nitty gritty stuff, all the way down to, you know, the stuff when you actually get here, like the culture in the grocery store <laughs> so we awesome. and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's over there on my website as well. I'll link that. And then we also have a free 17 page checklist for those of you who just kind of want to Wow, it like a band-aid. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Awesome. Yeah, definitely leave it on the chat. I will, I will also leave in, be leaving my courses in a second, but that's definitely very, very useful and very different to the German courses we usually get. So nice. <laughs> very nice. Deutsch Lehrer, perhaps? <laughs> um, yeah, at the moment, I just have a speaking club for advanced students like B2 and C1. So if you want to, I don't know, practice your speaking, also learn lots of vocabulary on the advanced level, you're welcome. Sorry, I was muted. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> perhaps you can also link the the um, you can leave the link on the chat. So perhaps yeah, some people are interested in that as well. And John. Yeah, I have a, a course for French speaking people to learn German. So um, I have two um, Two stufen. <laughs> I don't find it. Two levels. Two levels. Uh, level, two levels. Thank you. Uh, so, um, if you're a French speaker and you want to learn German, so you're welcome um, to get in that course, and I will just give the link. Here. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Levi, Katya, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I lost track of everyone uh. who has courses. <laughs> Yeah, so I have a course. Um, it's currently closed to enrollment, though, because um, part of my course includes uh, six one-on-one -on -one, uh, sessions with me. And so wow. um, I have to limit how many people I can have in there because I also have a day job. Um, so, uh, yeah, so right now that's closed, um, but it's at courses.germanwithantrum.com. Um, and eventually I'll be opening that up um, probably sometime in the next month or so. Mm -hmm. um and then i also have uh an ebook which is now as of like a month ago an actual paperback book so i'm kind of excited wow. about that um Congrats. so yeah i now have that um and it comes with uh stuff for beginners it's got worksheets in there um there's also downloadable mp3 files to listen to the the, the uh dialogues in there um there's flashcards online there's worksheets and other download stuff and basically it's not just a book um <laughs> But yeah, I've got that and uh, I have free stuff on my website as well for just downloadable worksheets and that kind of thing. And I'll put those links over in the chat here in a minute. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I, I That book looks very nice. So definitely people, his courses are very limited as he said. So just keep an eye on that. And uh, Katia, you have also something to say. <laughs> I do. Uh, as of now, I don't have courses yet. That's still in the future, but I still have a huge library of free stuff. I've basically covered every, almost every topic there is by now. So feel free to check out my YouTube channel on that. But nice. my most recent project that I spent basically the last half year working on is designing merch, like this wonderful blanket behind me. Oh and my I gosh. Took... <laughs> All right. excited. I, took... I should have worn my shirt. I just I got love it, that uh, reaction. like a week or two That's ago. That's right. I got my and, shirt. and Levi actually already bought a t-shirt which was super super sweet oh my God, so nice <laughs> and, yeah, the, taking that out. <laughs> part of the reason why it took me so long was that I really wanted to take care to like design stuff that's not just my logo and that's it but to make stuff that's actually nice for people who will like my channel but also just like German in general and yeah. uh 
can walk around like I have a shirt that has the sharp s on it you know the little weird German letter and it says this is not a b under it you know stuff like that um <laughs> very funny <laughs> so that's my main thing right now that I'm super proud of and that um yeah that I'm putting out there I'm going to put the link to the shop in the um in the chat again yeah. but for anyone who's still looking for more German sources like I said check out my channel it's everything's on there <laughs> awesome you guys so um we are doing quite some stuff we're actually out of time uh but yeah thank you everyone who was here watching us and interacting with us and thank you guys for such a very very interesting conversation um i had a lot of fun i hope you also had it and yeah then again thank you very much for everyone who was here i wish we had more time but we have to go so let's do a screenshot as a because i, I saw that i already taken the lead so let's take a screenshot everyone smiling there you go we got it <laughs> thank you so much you guys it was a lot of fun and yeah i hope to see you in the next expo lingua thank you so much and thank you everyone who was here very Cheers. very nice thank you <laughs> thank you guys have thank a good guys. day have a schönen bye tag bye bye bye, bye. <laughs> <Tschüssi>. <laughs>